Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Behind the Mic. I'm Pam Rossi, and uh, we're, we're still getting in the swing of things and uh, enjoying this. A chance for me to sit down one-on-one -on -one with local musicians. That's what this show is all about. I love promoting the underdog, and to me, that's the local musicians. And besides, there is so much talent in this town that I'm so happy that I have this avenue to share these musicians with all of you out there. We do this live on um, Music Town Detroit, our Facebook, and then of course you can always go back and see it again. So welcome to Behind the Mic. And again, um, before I do anything, I always want to say thank you very, very much to our uh, sponsors who get this thing going and are big part of it. Michigan State University Community Music School, Detroit. Thank you very much. And Children's Hospital of Michigan Foundation. Thank you to our sponsors. Without them, of course, this would be a little difficult to do. So we're very happy that they are part of this and behind the mic. So uh, I have another local guest in here today. Welcome, Tasha Owens. Thank you, Pam. So excited you are here with us today, and um, I see you have your traditional, or your trademark fedora hat. Thank <laughs> <Yes>. you. <laughs> well, weather, <laughs> the weather, the weather dictated yeah. that today. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, little dreary out there, but um, well, good. So glad to have you. Uh, in, you know, I'm happy I've, to I've be here. Thank you. I've talked with you before, so um, <laughs> wanted to have you back on here. Your amazing voice. Thank you. And I think you can, you know, share a lot of stuff about the music business, uh, you know, to those people that are you know, involved with it or thinking of getting mm -hmm. involved with it, you know, kind of tell them your story and how you got to where you are right now. Yeah. So, um, so welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for sitting in the chair today uh, on Behind the Mic. And, uh, and plus, um, you know, of course, Tasha has a huge backup band. Well, I shouldn't say huge. You have a band. Yes. <laughs> a normal band. <laughs> um, and, you know, we do this at noon, lunchtime, so a lot of musicians, not unheard of, that they always have second jobs. So, you know, of course, the musicians are out doing their, their regular uh, gigs, right. uh, and so they couldn't be here. And they I say mean, life happens room. when you're busy. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so we're gonna do. The, we're gonna try something new today mm -hmm. with the music. You're gonna, of course, sing, but we've got the music uh, recorded. So, you know, another learning curve with us here at Behind the Mic. Uh, but... Myself as well. It's like a first for me. So. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I'm. You know, Ryan. Thanks to Ryan in our engineer yeah, booth back you. there, who's uh, running things, and you know, he's got it down. The thumbs up. So we're good. So looking forward to that. We're gonna hear some songs in just a few, but mm -hmm. just wanted to say. Uh, you know, get all the logistics out and um, say welcome and thanks for coming in. So how in the heck have you been anyway? Oh, I've been really, really great. I want to say hello to Detroit, my Yay. city, the city I love, born in. <laughs> but uh, yes, I've been really busy and uh, working a lot. You, you, in order to be a musician full time, you have to do that. So yeah. and uh, working on a new album. I've got some videos We're going to talk about out. that in a minute. Yeah. yeah so a lot, a lot going on right now and it's very exciting. Well, actually, it's funny you say that because I read somewhere that someone labeled you as uh, like the hardest working musician in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I get that if a I lot. was a musician, I would think, wait a minute, I work hard too. But you know, <laughs> why do you think you got labeled that? Um, I, I I've been having a lot of gigs, I guess. So and so it's out there. I work with a lot of different bands. I also have my own band, and um, every opportunity that I get a chance to perform with the amazing musicians we do have I just take it so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> and I know the musicians you know it's it's like a it's like a little group mm -hmm. but it's it's very large it's you know, a of huge course. group absolutely. but everybody it seems like everybody likes to hey would you help me on this album would you like to do backup with this I mean absolutely. that's normal isn't yes, it yes I or do a lot it? of session recording so I'm on there's plenty of albums out there from local musicians you'll hear my voice on and it's it's so funny now that, that some people come up to me and didn't I hear you on this one and <laughs> I know that voice and I'm like that's really awesome <laughs> I love it when I'm listening to an album or CD or whatever download and I recognize the voice or something. It's like, oh, that's so and so. Hey, you know, now they're helping with this band. Oh, so absolutely. that is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful community we have. <laughs> yeah. Do you get a lot of those calls? I do get a lot of those calls. Yes, I do. So you are very busy. Yes. <laughs> which is good. Which is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> have you done music all your life? Um, I've been singing since I could talk, but um, on stage, it's probably been about 30 years. 30 so years. I did have the other life. I did have the day job and, you know, raised my daughter and that. So mm -hmm. went to school full time. So I was doing all that at once. And, and you know, now that things are dwindling down, she's almost out of college. I'm like, all right, it's time for mom to do this full time now and, and just have fun at it. And I, that, I've been having such a great time. Good for you. <laughs> and that probably makes a huge difference. It's, it's, 
you know, it's not the rut, the nine to five rut, mm-hmm. you know, and it's a passion, obviously, for it musicians, really you know, for the, for musicians to lug your gear and gig after gig, sometimes in bars that, you know, you're fighting with pinball machines or, you know, do they still have pinball machines? Or I don't even know. TVs, the TVs. Going on. <laughs> yeah. So you've got to have a love for it and a passion yes, to do that night after night or at least three to four nights a week. Mm-hmm, absolutely. <laughs> it is a passion and it is a you know, it's it's a lifestyle. You know, when you decide to do it full time, it mm-hmm. really is a lifestyle because you you come to appreciate not only what you're doing, but the people around you, the people enjoying it, the people making the music, and when everybody's in sync, it just it just goes to such a high level. Mm-hmm. It's it's you know it's crazy, <laughs> beautiful crazy, beautiful crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what was it, or was there a point that you remember that you decided, okay? I need to do this full time. I now am my business is a musician. Was there mm-hmm. something that clicked that you made that decision? Um, I've always wanted to do that, and you know, by me, uh, someone explained to me about me being a Sagittarius. You know, you would just point our arrow and we go in that direction. <laughs> so you know, after the major responsibilities, you know, you know, was dwindling down, it was time to do something. You know, that. I've been doing the whole time. I've mm-hmm. always been interested in. I've always been doing. I used to be really shy, so I would I would actually communicate through music. Oh, okay. So I knew this is something that was going to be in my life forever. So at one point, you know, like I said, I went to a blues jam, and, and uh, if I drop a few names here, <laughs> sure, <laughs> uh, our own Jim McCarty from the Rockets oh, yes. was running that jam, and um, he and I says, "Wow, I doing rock and roll, and I don't know any blues." And he goes, "I tell you what, I'm going to play, and you're going to sing." And my friend laughingly said, you don't tell Jim McCarty no. So <laughs> <laughs> from that point, I started expanding my horizons. I started doing a lot more blues and a lot more, you know, different kinds of music. So I guess I, you can call me an all-around vocalist, but I'm widely recognized for doing a lot of blues and rock. Blues and rock. Classic mm-hmm. rock you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, you know, it, it doesn't hurt, of course, no. especially... You know, people are calling you to help them on their music and, you know, It's so gigs. exciting and it's it such helps. an honor to get that phone call. It's like, oh, wow, they really think I'm good. All right, we'll do this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You don't think you're good? I, well, you know, you're your own worst critic. So every True. time you do something, it takes me a long time to listen to my own music. <laughs> Because I know I'm going to be critical of myself. Oh, okay. So I'm like, okay. let me just let everyone enjoy it. And then, and then I'll take it from a different perspective. Because, you know, we're always going, I can do it better. I can do it better. And sometimes you just don't need to. It's just as good the way it is. But yeah. You beat yourself up because it's your product. <laughs> well, yeah. Once it's uh, you know once it's pressed onto something mm-hmm. or it's out there digitally. Right. You know. <laughs> it's not that's there, the record. You can go back and change it and mm-hmm. do different versions, but that one first time you got to make sure you feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Absolutely. So are you a perfectionist? Uh no. I am in no way. I am so <laughs> the opposite of what I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I'm like. Okay, let's just get out there and I'll fly by the seat of my pants. If it feels good when I'm doing it, I'm okay with that, you know. <laughs> okay. So I, yeah, I am. I would call a rogue warrior kind of thing. I'm like, oh, we're just having fun. Yeah. It's gonna be good. <laughs> you mentioned Sagittarius, so your birthday yes. is coming up, or Sagittarius. Just... Crabby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Yes. Sagittarius. Well, I've not heard that term before. Excuse me, I'm a Sagittarius too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, my birthday is uh, December twelfth. Oh, so okay. That was another mm-hmm. another reason I adopted that attitude. I was born on Frank Sinatra's birthday, so I'm like, all right, oh yeah, we'll just have fun like he did. <laughs> Go for it. Why not? That's a great birthday to share. Oh, right? absolutely. I had a Rat Pack themed birthday last year, so that was oh, very fun. very nice. So what what did you do? Uh, we had it at Mario's, of course, Italian restaurant. Oh, good. Everyone great was place dressed to eat. up. Oh, oh yeah. We, everyone came dressed up. It was just beautiful, and we had a young crooner come and sing to oh. me some Sinatra tunes. That was wonderful. <laughs> did you organize it or did they do that? Um, I, I, my friends and I all, we oh. all chipped in. My family, my friends, okay. yeah, my daughter, everyone. We were all dressed up. It was so oh, beautiful. Oh, how fun! Yes, it was a lot of fun. We might, we might do it again. <laughs> I like that. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know that date. There are other birthdays on that day, or just for... um, there are other ones. I That's mean, just the one I musicians? closely identify with. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Old blue eyes. Yes. What the heck? Oh, well, that's cool. I like that crooner idea, the, you know, the party. The oh, rat yeah. Cat party. He's a 16 year old. Oh, I forget his name, Chad or something. Chance. And Chance? Then, yes. Okay. And a uh, friend of mine, Brendan Lindsley, brought him to the party and uh, also a great guitar player. Brought him to the party and he sat me in the middle of the floor and sang The Way You Look Tonight. And I just, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was beautiful. You lost it, huh? <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> 
that's great. That's a fun party. You'll remember that one. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, well, all right. Well, and, and happy birthday coming up, too. You so. as well. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> don't try to think about those. <laughs> right. Well, why don't we try, um, let's go to a song. Okay. Um, and this is, again, this is new. So Ryan's got it covered in the engineer room there. So so we need to put the headphones on. Yeah, rainy weather, misty day. So with the headphones, the hair is, is uh, not going to like it, but okay. All right. So um, so you're going to... you sing uh, and of course these are all originals mm -hmm. so so the band this is actually your band on the music uh yes on two of the songs there's different members of the band one oh, okay. is from my album two are songs written by a wonderful friend and uh they're all go to charity you mentioned the children's hospital mm -hmm. um, detroit strong all yeah. the proceeds uh, from that sale online goes uh directly to children's hospital in michigan and henry ford uh, children's wards nice. there, so they help. That's the uh, Sparky Anderson's charity. Catch called Catch. Catch. Yes. Yeah. So they benefit from that. So okay. So this will be the first song you're singing. <laughs> why don't I? Why don't I start that? <laughs> awesome. Because I wanted to definitely talk about it. So we'll hear it first. Okay. And this is called Detroit Strong, Tasha Owens. All right. I've been on the road too long. I just have to sing this song. I'm coming home to the place where I belong Detroit City Detroit Strong We build cars that drive the nation With our pride and fascination We're still the wheels that turn the world Ooh, we're Detroit City Detroit strong We've got winners, we've got losers Just like any other place You should hear our gospel singers Belt out amazing grace We've got Kid Rock and Aretha Bob Seger, Madonna too m and I'm doing eight mile and there's Motown and the blues. We are Detroit. And we are strong. We are Detroit. And we are strong. The heart and soul of the city are the people, don't you know? From the corner hot dog belly to suits and stadium front rows. We've got lions, tigers, and pistons with excitement all around. And our wing wheels always rolling cause we're a hockey town. And there's much, much more than that. You can read it in the news. There are those who wear the green and white and some yell, let's go blue. We are, we are Detroit, and we are strong. strong. We, are we are Detroit. How sweet the sound! We are strong. How sweet the sound! Strong. We are Detroit. We are Detroit. Hey, yeah, hey. and we are strong. Heart and soul of the city are the people, don't you know? We are strong. We are Detroit. And we are strong. Love it. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna take those headphones off. <laughs> I love that song. Thank you. I it's love such a that great song. song. It's a wonderful yeah. song. And my, part of the video is actually shot here at Hockey Town on the roof. You know, I, I was going to mention the video because <laughs> you've got so many great um, landmarks from the mm -hmm. city. It's so cool. How long did it take to make that video? Because you got... um, Well, the gentleman, Keith Lauren, who wrote the song, he put the video and everything together. We It took us one day to, to shoot the shots oh, with okay. me. 
And then you had different did, outfits on, you know, <laughs> for the different shots on different days. Okay. So I would say maybe about two or three days it took okay. total to make the film. So the video that was really, really ex uh, awesome, a great experience too. When did the song actually come out? Oh, good. Uh, this song, oh uh, gosh, this one came out before the new year. Okay. I want to say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, the, the video is so cool. I mean, just the, f it's kind of cool how, you know, you have all the landmarks and, and the way you, you uh, at the end, you know, you're, it's like strong, we're, you know, we are strong. So you definitely send a message. Just a great anthem for the it city. It really is. It really is. Has anyone approached you? You know, any? Um, we're trying to get it out there. We would love for this song to become the Detroit's anthem. Yeah. And all the feedback coming back from says, yes, it's the best one we've heard. And, you know, it should be something that represents our city. And, and, uh, and the video again backs that up. Yeah. It, it's a really great song. So great job, Keith. <laughs> yeah. And what's cool about it, too, be, on that note is, uh, for example, you've got the, you know, the Little Caesars, Caesars Arena, you know, mm -hmm. being built. Right. So there's some good stuff in there of, you know, like things are happening around here. So Absolutely. you've added those into that. Uh, yeah, that would be so cool. If that could. You know, all right, whoever's listening out there has got those connections for that, you know, <laughs> this is the song. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, it's some good stuff. So good for you. I, I love thank that you, song. Thank you, thank you And if you much. haven't seen the video, go on, you can find it anywhere. Yep, Detroit on Strong. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's really cool to watch, so check and that out. And the Detroit out. Strong website, so there's a Detroit Strong Oh, you have a whole Strong website, website for it. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. and it'll be on my website soon, as soon as I update it. Yeah. <laughs> Need to do that. Well, you've been so busy know, doing gigs. <laughs> Maybe that's where you hire a little someone to do the social media right. for you. Anyone willing to do an internship for a PA, <laughs> let me know. There you go. It's out there now. <laughs> Tosh is going to be getting all these. Who? What? Okay. Um, but, well, that's cool. So um, I was going to ask you something else about that. Lost my train of thought. Anyway, we'll move on. But um, yeah, good stuff. Detroit song. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. I was going to ask you because you said there's a whole website because all yes. these uh, the sale of that song mm -hmm. goes to Catch. Yes. And uh, again, do you tell me what Catch stands for? I know it's Sparky Anderson. I know, and I always forget, okay. so I don't want to misquote. Okay, well, that's okay. <laughs> it's a great event, a great uh, mm -hmm. foundation, and so that's really nice that you do that to thank support you, thank them. Thank you. Yes, it supports yeah. the kids. A uh, career athlete. I know that's what it's, but I, I do not want to misquote, so I don't want to say the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had that in my notes, but I don't. So. <laughs> me too. But coming off the gig last night, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Again, she's the busiest woman, so she's just you know, had a gig last night, and and you you were worried about your voice, but it sounded good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> sounded good. I loved it. So that was Detroit Strong, um, and I, now this is a weird question. I'm just thinking, can people buy the video? Uh, I don't. It's on YouTube, so I don't think. You, oh, okay. I don't know how okay. that works. Yeah. They can down, you know, know download it, it or put it, add it to their playlists. <laughs> It yeah. would be very, very nice. I know there's a restaurant, a Third Rock in Royal Oak, that has it actually on their jukebox, so they've been playing that. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's been very, very nice. So go to Third Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see how plugs will get into that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people to think. <laughs> so uh, you, obviously you're passionate about the city and Detroit. Yes. You can tell in that song and mm -hmm. the video and everything. So you've lived here all your life. Born and raised Born in Detroit. Born and raised in you Detroit. Know, I've left and come back, you know, and tried to yeah. be a family person, but that didn't work out. So I came back <laughs> to where the love is <laughs> running over. <laughs> I, I've heard from a few different musicians that, you know, they were here and, you know, they went to L.A. or mm -hmm. New York or whatever, and they, they end up coming back. It's like... There's so much here. I don't need to go to L.A. or Nashville or New York. Right. There's so much here. Sometimes you have to go there to realize that. You know, I have okay. not yet to do that, but I would like to go on yeah. tour. That's going to be in my future <laughs> goals. Tour the United States or yeah, all over the all world? All over. That would be cool? <laughs> yes, that would be very, very nice. On your bucket list. So. On my bucket list. <laughs> I would imagine that takes a lot. As a musician, what, mm -hmm. what what's involved in getting a, a world tour? Uh, well, well, sponsors, <laughs> that's oh, the major thing. But just, I guess, from what I, I um, gather from talking to friends and that, you know, it's just the, the fatigue of being busy all the time. And as soon as you get there, you got, you know, a sound check. You think it's a vacation, you're going to see the world and that, but you're really busy during that time. Yeah. So you have to be totally dedicated to what you're doing. Okay. And, you know, in, and in between, you'll have a few minutes here and there to see some sights and that, but it's all work. Yeah. <laughs> that's too bad. I mean, if you're, you know, over in Europe and mm -hmm. be nice, you could stop and see a few things absolutely yeah. <laughs> we'll it, try we'll, yeah. we'll get it in there might All have right, a half well, hour here and there but i'll get some sights in <laughs> well good luck with it i hope you do get you know Thank be able you. to do that so no, yeah that's a, in the universe so <laughs> a good goal yes yeah. 
Well, you know, and, and through social media nowadays, mm-hmm. it's easy to get your music out there, so more people would be aware of your music and yes. you know want to bring you to these venues and these different things. So absolutely, so I'm trying to work that too. Of course, I'm from the uh, the age of before technology, <laughs> before social media, so it's it's kind of difficult and frustrating for me. So again, if I had that PA, <laughs> and I try, and I can only do so much, yeah. but I, I do I do see the advantages. Of, of having the social media and getting out to everyone. I do have friends on Facebook that are from other countries and are listening to my music. So I appreciate that very well. Good. Very yeah. much. Mm-hmm. It just, you know, it just spreads, you know. Yes. Which, which is nice. <laughs> well, then you just need it to spread yeah, quicker and wider. Yeah, we need the wild wider, wider, you know? <laughs> kind of spreading. <laughs> yeah. And I, um, I wonder, you know, there's, I mean, there's many local musicians from this mm-hmm. area that have toured Absolutely. overseas and everything. So, you know, I'm not sure if they have someone that does that for them, you know, helps them with that, mm-hmm. or if they just, you know, do it on their own. That right. would be an interesting panel to talk about how to do that. That you know? would be. That would be a great yeah. segment. <laughs> you know, how to get your music out to, the, you know, to tour in the world. So mm-hmm. we'll, we'll put that on the back burner, and we'll think about that, and get some people that I know that have toured and, you know, get some feedback on that to help other musicians, because that would be huge for Absolutely. you to get out there. <laughs> now, do you play any interest in instruments yourself? I play tambourine. <laughs> <laughs> a little cowbell maybe triangle <laughs> triangle solo <laughs> oh that's funny no desire yeah. have you ever tried or um just... i you know again if, if i if i had started younger i would have the time to do it i actually uh had a guitar a couple years ago when i was gonna try and i learned a few chords and then i started getting so busy and then uh, my sister, uh, she goes, oh, you know, we got this Make-A-Wish person and they need a guitar. So I just donated my guitar. I'm like, it's just sitting there. Mm. So I signed it and donated to nice. the young yeah. gentleman. So, <laughs> so I said, well, when I'm ready to play, I'll have a guitar. Right yeah. now he can benefit from it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Never know, you know. Yep, absolutely. You may have sent uh, this person on a path that may not have realized it before, thanks uh, to you. That would be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you, your instrument is your voice. Yes. <laughs> and what a voice, so. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have uh, rituals or something to keep your voice uh um, in tune, I guess is a good way to put it. <laughs> well, I have been lately. You know, as I'm getting older, I'm you know I'm noticing I need to preserve my voice. But mm-hmm. you know, I I always say I started out in rock and roll, so there's nothing. Just get on stage and jam, which I did. I did rock and roll for about 15 years, and then you know now that I'm appreciating and, and going into different genres and areas of music, I'm learning how to develop and, and uh, try to sustain, okay. you know, what I have and what I'm working yeah, with, you know, yeah. so I have been learning how to do some warm-ups and that, and I've also uh, have a person that I'm coaching, Okay. Uh, our young guitar player, Brendan Lindsley, he's been doing very well, so I mean, coaching him, I'm learning myself, uh-huh. and, you know, the right things to do and yeah. how to breathe and, you know, how long to do, if you get a quick session or if you have all day to warm up your voice, so I'm learning all these different things. Oh, interesting. As, as I'm teaching. So. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yes. You know, I, I probably mm-hmm. could use that. I'm a voiceover artist, but I'm not oh, in very standing good. behind, a, you know, one of these things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and sometimes it's like, you know, th- this is, you know, like i got to preserve this. So, mm-hmm. you know, I don't never thought about, you know, learning how to preserve the voice because that is important. Yes. You lose that and then what? And then you're just on stage going, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tasha. Hi. Nice to see all you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, not good. Not no, good not at all. Good at all. <laughs> How about we get to another song? Okay. All right. What do you got I'm for gonna, us? I'm going to go out of order here. That's, um, you know, do, hey. Now, this song, yeah, um, I do have an album coming out, uh, which we're almost, we're done actually recording the record, and uh, we're just in the stage of doing artwork, which we'll be doing this week. Okay. And then uh, it, it goes to print and that, so just a little okay. bit longer will be coming out. And this is the first song that was written by myself and my partner, Brett Lucas who also uh, performs with Renetta Davis and tours the world with mm-hmm. Betty LeVette. So uh, he was kind enough to take me by the hand and say, you need a record. And uh, we've been working on it for the last three years or so. So okay. thanks to Brett Lucas. We'll talk more about that after the song here. <laughs> yes. so. All right, what's so the name of the song? So this is a song called You Ain't Right. And of course, it's blues. And of course, it's by About an Ex. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but it'll be on the new record. Call me for a date I say that I can't wait You said be ready by seven I 
I tell you that would be great I let the candles shine until a bottle of wine You don't show up till night You said you have no money You couldn't get to the bank And although I believe you, baby An ATM I ain't Got to be in control to get with me, you know. Get there before they close. You ain't right. Oh, baby, you ain't right. I don't know why I put up with you when you know that we should be through. Though you don't treat me right, love you without my might. Oh, baby, you ain't right. We go to the movies And we go downtown Your eyes are always straying, baby As if I wasn't around Careful what you're doing Better watch your step This could be bad for your health you know I made reservations at my favorite place. Oh, but when the bill came, baby, you left without a trace. I paid with my last dime. This is the last time you can get out of my face. You ain't right. Oh, baby, you ain't right. I don't know why I put up with you When you know that we should be through Though you don't treat me right Love you without my mic Oh, baby, you ain't right Better check your insurance Before I see you again I hope you know Nice. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, some good lyrics in there. Thank you very much. <laughs> experience, right there. Yes, oh, okay. yes, yes. Experience. <laughs> Sometimes the best songs come out of experience. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. So that'll be on this new album. Yes. Is this your first album? My first album. I thought so. Yes. I was like I'm trying to go through some thinking. Where did I not have one of your albums? But apparently not. So it did take you a while to get one of these mm -hmm. together. Absolutely. Now, there's about 16 tracks on there, so it took a long time to get it done. And then yeah. um, it's called The Wrong Side of Right. <laughs> Appropriately named, if you know me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a nice album. It's got a um, lot of different mix of blues, and there's some, you know, other things that it could be called indie, in, on, you know, different kind of genres mm -hmm. on there as well. Okay. And, okay. and I also um, did a cover of uh, Janis Joplin's Half oh. Moon and a song mm -hmm. by Ray Charles on the album as well. 
Yeah, I could hear you covering a Janis Joplin. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that would be. That's cool. So three years to take it. So is it yeah. just because you've been so busy you haven't focused 100% to it? Is that? Um, well, I, I, I wasn't. I always wanted to do a record, but never knew how to get started in that. And it was like a few years ago, uh, like I said, Brett took me by the hand and said, you need an album. Yeah. You know, somebody needs to hear your voice. So yeah. um, we did take us a while to write it. And of course, money speaks. So mm -hmm. that's another process of why it's been taking so long. So paying the musicians and for the music, the time and the engineering and all that. Yeah. So it was just, you know, getting it along. and. And to write 14 songs, you know, it's, it takes a while to do that as well. And that's my first hit? experience writing. Okay, I was so, just going to ask you, so mm -hmm. did you not have music before? You just did all covers then? I did all covers. Um, I, you know, a few bands I was in before, there was a song here and there that was written by the band and then reformed within the band didn't, you know, mm. uh, stay together and that. So I did have experience with it, but not to where it was focused on me, okay. you know. So okay. this is my first experience doing that. So I'm really proud of it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and you know, just to jump in and start writing, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. you need an album, so you better start writing. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be scary in that's itself. That's literally how it happened. It sat down, here's a pen and paper. Oh. I got this groove. What do you got? What do you got? What are you thinking? I'm like, oh, okay, a couple songs. Um, I have on, on a video. We're written through tears. It's called one's called Who's Gonna Win, and it's you know about the strife and everything that's going on. Uh, in the world, you know, the injustice everywhere. So I was, I wrote that and I think did the video through tears. It was, you know, yeah. it's an experience. It was like, again, something you're compelled to do once mm -hmm. you start that one. Then there's one I, I called Cold in Detroit. And that's about um, just up being observant about our homeless. You know, people have nowhere mm -hmm. to go and things like that. So that's, that's a nice tear jerker as well. <laughs> <laughs> But, you, you know, know all happy, sad, happy, sad. Yeah. Happy, sad. <laughs> and again, you know, that was inspired just by driving down the street one day. Yeah. And it was, you know, winter day. And I saw someone who, you know, didn't have anything, mm -hmm. a homeless person. So, and it, it just made me cry. So I had, I felt compelled to write something about that, my feelings. And, you know, maybe we can all do something to help. So, <laughs> well, you know, I, I've never written a song. I've mm -hmm. written down things, you know, and I journal, but I've never written a song. And I just, you to me it seems like you really have to have something to inspire you to actually right. put you know words down on paper mm -hmm. yep. i mean just to pull something out of the air just i don't think that would be a good song you know absolutely you have to have something that the emotion behind it to make a good song absolutely and yeah that was the scariest part for me because the songs that i normally choose to sing are songs that mean something to me you know so i can interpret that in a yeah. passionate way because i feel close to it so, but then, you know, and doing other songs is easier than doing your own because you're like, you're revealing a part of yourself and like, should I or shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. So there's this, you know, anxiety that wells up inside you too, but also driven by, you know, adrenaline and yeah. excitement. So, yeah. <laughs> well, and, you know, a lot of times people express themselves through their instrument, you know, a guitar, piano, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. but, and even a vocalist, you know, you can change the the feeling of a song mm -hmm. of how you sing it absolutely <laughs> uh, yeah i've done that i do i that's how we call our own interpretations yeah. right, that way yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does a song mean to you yeah. is it easier to interpret blues or rock or or is it any difference at all um i will say um blues is a little more uh, lenient i would say when it comes to the music you know it's just a a lot of times it's a steady groove so you can do whatever you want to do within that groove, mm -hmm. you know. Um, rock, there's certain um, points in, in my experience. No, my only opinion. My opinion. <laughs> in certain That's points. That's what we're talking to you. Yeah, so yeah. Your opinion is what I'm looking for. Yeah, because you don't want to face back. That's nah, not true. No. <laughs> but, yeah, there's certain aspects of some songs where you where you have that freedom to do that. Yeah. And uh, you know, some sometimes they're structured to where you, you only have so much to do. But like, if you pick the right song, you know, you can, you can just – do or you can rearrange it yourself if you're going to play it live with your band you mm -hmm. know you can make a fast song slow yeah i think i've done over the years give me one reason by tracy chapman i've probably done that i've done it jazz blues funk you know all yeah. different kinds of ways depending on how it's played that's um <laughs> That tells you it's a good song. If yes. you can interpret, you know, change it and still mm -hmm. make it sound good. Yes. You know, you, know you got a good song there. So <laughs> Absolutely. Good for Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So you've got this new album coming out, mm-hmm. and you're, you're all, it sounds like you're almost there. So yes. do you have a date for release? No, the date release date has not been set yet. Okay. I'm being very careful about it. Like I said, there's um, we're paying for it every step of the way. So uh, I'll have a little more information maybe after this week. Okay. You know, and then once we find out um, what's what we're going to need to uh, get, get it out there, get it printed out, and okay. then we'll we'll do yeah. a. Uh, so maybe a, a soft release and then a big CD release. Party. Did you not do a crowdfunding? I thought I heard. That yes, you... I did start okay. one, and then again, I'm not social media savvy, so it's like I posted it once and think that's supposed to go right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so didn't like, happen. I'm like, oh, my daughter's at school; she can't help me. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, it's still active. So oh, okay. feel free to go okay. <laughs> on my website. The link is there. I just haven't been been putting it out. Okay. Again, because I, you know, I have to get get in that part of the workforce yeah. part of it. You, know you do need us some help. Okay, I'm interns. Telling, I just, you know, <laughs> dreamed of getting on stage and singing, and that's it. You know, now I'm like, oh, I gotta be There's my more own to boss it. and yeah. everything. And so I'm getting into the, the business those, of the business. I'm getting into yeah. wearing that hat. So to yeah. Speak. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll look forward to it. And again, mm-hmm. it's all on your website. So oh, on the website. You know, so you can still donate to the GoFundMe. Go for it. <laughs> Yay. Help her out. <laughs> all right. I want to do a good. All right. What was the title of that? Uh, Wrong Side of Right. I like the title. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. We're going to do um, some Pam exam questions. Uh oh. I remember this. <laughs> um, I know you're kind of far over there, so I'll just pull one out for you. Okay. What is your go-to song to sing while in the shower? Oh, my goodness. In the shower? <laughs> um, Getting personal here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in the shower, I would probably, because uh, I like the acoustics in the bathroom when I do, um, oh. and I don't even do this song live, uh, you know, on the stage, but it's um, by Aretha Franklin. It's called Do Right Woman. I, I love the way it starts out. and if, so That would be the song, my go-to song in the shower, Do Right Woman by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> I never heard it. Well, I've got good acoustics in the bathroom, so you know what? I, absolutely. <laughs> hey, maybe recorded there, you might get some uh, some good sound from there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, artists record in different places to get different sounds. Yes. So why not in your bathroom? What the heck? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. I have a friend actually whose vocal booth is right there by his bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to go far when you're working. <laughs> I go, just don't flush. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> TMI, Tush. Okay. Uh, this is a two-parter. <laughs> First record you ever bought. Oh, easy. That was uh, We're an American Band by Grand Funk Railroad. All right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And Local I had the opportunity again. to perform with Mark Ferner. Oh, good. Yes. He's a sweetheart. He's yeah. a wonderful, wonderful person. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't remember. That was 70-something. Yep. Okay. All I right. remember it was the, remember when they had them different colors. It was a gold color. Oh. So <laughs> like that almost. I remember uh, that. Yeah, there's like um, you could see through them. They had them red. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Th- that one particular one was gold. I okay. That. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I have one of those gold ones. Huh? I think mine's only normal. All right. Then the second part of this question is the first concert you ever attended. Queen with Freddie oh, Mercury, ah. <laughs> 1981. Oh down wow. Here. Yes. Yes. It was uh, one of the, his last tour, I think, before. Oh, mm-hmm. fun! So yeah, I was very, very privileged to see him, and man, that that blew me away. I'm like, this big voice coming out of this guy is just amazing. <laughs> so it, it made me sing louder. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember the year, the date? I believe it was 1981. Okay. It was the last one here because another one bites the dust was already out. So yeah. It was right after. Yep. Yeah. So I want to say 81 is the last time, mm-hmm, my first concert. <laughs> and isn't it the fact that the your first concert is so memorable? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just so impressionable. You know, like this is like in awe. You walk into these arenas or wherever they may be, and there's just like people everywhere, and the outfits, and mm-hmm. you know, just the whole atmosphere is. It's amazing. It, it always <laughs> sticks in your head. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I love that question because first of all, it tells people I mean, th- those are two rock and roll oh, bands, yes. you know. And, <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> you are a rock and roll girl, but... Um, yes, yes, I was a diehard rocker. <laughs> diehard right. rocker. Did you ever imagine yourself, like, on stage, you were just going to rock it out? and? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've, you know, I've, every song that I enjoyed singing, I'm like, oh, man, I wish I was on stage with them. <laughs> doing this. You know, so I always imagine myself on stage doing that. <laughs> That's cool. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've been blessed. I've been on stage with a lot of great people. So. <laughs> yeah, well, and you, like you said, a lot of people are contacting you to mm-hmm. sing, so, you know... That says a lot in itself. All right. Uh, well, here's an interesting one. If you could have any one person perform with you, and at this point they could be dead or alive, who would that be? 
Well, now you're going to say, wow, I didn't expect that. Um, that would be um, the person I admire vocally the most, and that's Barbara Streisand. Oh. Yeah, that's – I actually uh, – taught myself to sing listening to her cassette tapes as a child yes really that's how you learn that's how I taught myself to sing I still can't read music I couldn't tell you what key I'm singing in or anything but interesting it, I, it's all by ear and really? and it was her you know again I was I grew up really really shy so I was communicated yeah. through music and you know my older sister uh, she she was a big fan so I used to play all her records then I had them all cassette and that's how we go to sleep I would, I would go to sleep listening to Barbara Streisand. <laughs> so how do you learn vocals through singing? I mean, you just you would sing along with her? And, yes, and yes. You would I'd just... sing along and try to emulate her yeah. sound, not only the sound, but how she made the sound. Mm. I would, like, imagine the way her mouth was positioned to make that particular sound, and that's how I did it. So and then, then I realized with the different positions of him, you can have different sounds. So I did that yeah. just by listening to her because she could do it all, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> And I such got, a powerful voice. And such a powerful voice. So, I, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> I, I wow, love Wow, I would day. not have thought that, that you. She's my you, idol. <laughs> you don't know how to read music, and you taught yourself by mm -hmm. listening to Barbara Streisand. Yep. That is really cool. I did not know that about you. I mean, we've talked before. I, yes. I think I, you know, I never heard that. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. So, what was the song that the? Do you remember the very first song or the song that you really listened to over and over to to learn? Um, well, it's a song called Songbird off of her album oh. called Songbird, mm -hmm. and uh, that was the one that really got me. And then uh, when uh, Star Is Born came out, oh. Oh, I can I can just look while well, listen and sing the end of that over and over again. Was that with Evergreen? one more look at you, Evergreen, Evergreen was the title was the hit song for that song. movie. Okay, but yeah. the last song in the in the in the movie was with one more look at you. Are you okay. watching me now? Okay. That I with tears it, <laughs> like that one got me. So that's like my favorite. <laughs> well, and um, well, so you would luckily there's movies you could see her. You mm -hmm. know, I mean now YouTube you'd learn a lot of stuff on YouTube. Right. But you could go back to her movies and you know fast forward through all the speaking parts right. to get to the music so you could practice. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's exactly I, what I, I did. envisioned that from you. Yeah, that is cool. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, do you have a desire to learn how to read music, or? Um, I you know I'm getting a little bit better. Again, it's the time factor. Yes, yes. I I never close my my eyes or, or my brain for anything. If you have yeah. a thirst for knowledge, you you know you gotta quench it. You know, so anything that comes, I I still a sponge. Even at my age, you know, everything that comes my way, I look at and listen and uh, and try to learn something. Every experience, every experience. Well, what happens mm -hmm. when you're on stage with someone? And they go, mm -hmm. all right, um, what key do you want? Well, <laughs> fortunately, <laughs> then you go like, um, here's the way I cheat. What do you have in mind? <laughs> here's the way I cheat. <laughs> Okay. Most of the songs that I do normally with my bands and that, I always ask them, what key are we doing it? So I keep a file. And when someone says, oh, you do this song, oh, I do it in this key because it's in my file. <laughs> <laughs> and one of my bands, the Stable Dudes, I'm calling you guys out. <laughs> one of them, they had changed the key on purpose. And I go, no, I do this in F sharp. We've been doing it in G for, le you know. I'm oh. like, so they'll trick me and all that stuff. But it's all in fun. <laughs> And you know that, you but it doesn't a... matter because when it starts, I'm on key, no matter right, what key it right, is. I just, right. you know, so. <laughs> well, can't someone just get one of those pitch things to get you started so you don't? Yep, without absolutely. Telling you what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> I can follow that. I wonder how many musicians really, you know, I mean, when you sing, you have to know what key you're going to sing, and I would think, but you know. I'm not a professional singer, so <laughs> right. I, I don't know. You know, it is, and I don't want to say out there you can do it without the knowledge. If, if you have an opportunity, please learn everything you can. All you musicians out there, you know, take advantage yeah. of that. But um, it, it's just in my case, it, I just, you know, again, when I started singing out in public, I was going to school full-time, working full-time, and raising my daughter, so I didn't have no extra time, oh, yeah. you know, and playing on the weekends, so yeah. I just I just kept going, you know, it was just one of the things where I kept going, and it always just worked out, and sometimes, you know, I will, like I said, I keep the file with the keys, and some keys I can recognize now, but, you know, I, I'm not that confident, I wouldn't tell you that that's that, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, I'm, I'm just very uh, happy that I have that ear to c continue yeah. doing what I do. Because even when they do change the key, I know it may be the wrong key or a different key. But, you know, I can usually adapt follow, to you're it. You're going to adapt. Yeah. Follow through, yeah. Or I'll say, that's not the right key, but I'll go up or down. I don't know which one. Just go up or down. <laughs> <laughs> and that usually works. Cause they're usually... And a good band behind you will yes. adjust with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the that's key. The that's key. the key. <laughs> that is the key. <laughs> 
You don't need to know if it's F sharp or A flat or whatever the heck that is, but you just know the band that follows you is the good band to have. Well the, well, the joke is, you know, how do you know there's a vocalist at, knocking on your door? And then, well, how do you know? And I say, like, well, she can't find the key and doesn't know when to come in. <laughs> I'm like, All right. I'm the epitome oh, of that oh, joke. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I learned something new from Tasha. That's just uh, that's amazing. So, thanks. Um, why don't we go to? You have another song for us? Yep, I have okay, another good. song. Right. And this song again is written by uh, Mr. Keith Lauren, who wrote Detroit Strong. This one's called Unite Through Love. And again, uh, I always want to give back even before I get mine. <laughs> so this song, uh, the 100% of the proceeds for this song goes to Focus Hope. Oh, nice. We also opened the walk this weekend with it, with the uh, kids from the Ferndale yeah. Middle School Choir. Oh, sweet. So, yeah, if you check out that video, it's a really, really nice one. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Our dream of racial harmony not yet reached A harsh reality so deep From where this challenge comes, comes so far but Clearly we're not done Each life so matters Most of us know but those few doubters seem to steal the show. For all and together is the only way. Each life so precious, and God we pray. Let us unite through love. Don't let this story our faith let's win this fight through love in our hearts is where this victory waits through love we'll find our way it's path to glory true Love conquers all our fears Join in our song Let's give our children hope Remove all trace of hate Help make this message clear Time has come. Let us unite through love. Don't let distorted views seal our fate. Let's win this fight through love. In our hearts is where this victory met us. Take a drink. <laughs> I a lot. I've been sweating, y'all. Woo! Wow. And oh, you, yeah. And when you're playing that, when you're singing that, just the passion and, you know, yes. your expressions and... 
Oh, that, that one's, I got to take my, <laughs> that one overheated her. Yes, it did. I had to take a lot. <laughs> Reach from down south. That, that sounded, one. that was great. Thank that you so great. much. Thank you. Again, it is a great song and uh, what a great job the Ferndale Middle School Choir did on the video and that and, and everybody who worked on these records and the album. Yeah. So there's a ton of them. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I can go down the list and say thank you to everybody, but I do appreciate everything. <laughs> well, that's good. When, um, you talk about collaborating and mm -hmm. you know working with people. And did you uh, are you also working with Barrett Strong? And great, great um, I sound? did a couple of recordings of, of the song, a couple of songs that he had written, and oh, okay. um, it was it was a project that was going on, and and um, you know, and it, it, it was just a great opportunity to work with the guy who you know who wrote and and, and produced these records, and under his. Uh, advisement too mm -hmm. so there was a, a wonderful opportunity so it was a couple uh, the song of war <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then um, we did um, return your love to me by the temptations you know in, in psychedelic shack and it was just a great experience for the group of people that we worked with and uh, my friend Emily Rogers put that together and <laughs> so thank you to her <laughs> <laughs> so um is he kind of a, was he like mentoring you? Or he was just he, you? he was uh, mentoring all of us on that project. You okay. know, he wanted to see it redone by you know, um, you know, people from now. You know, Detroiters from now doing doing those same songs and oh, showing okay. appreciation oh, of them. So that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. Did you, did you ever have a true mentor helping you? I mean, besides Barbara Streisand watching her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, actually, not so much. Uh, basically, um, I would say all the band members I've had have been my mentors because you know those are the ones who believed in me and wanted mm -hmm. to be. They, they didn't. It wasn't for the most part. It wasn't just um, an opportunity to work. It was more of let's do this together yeah, because yeah. I believe in you. So I'd have to say uh, a lot of my band members out of most of the bands I've been in have been really, really wonderful in supporting me personally. It's like, well, oh, I want to work with you. And like, yeah. wow, what an honor. For sure. <laughs> Absolutely, For sure. to have someone say that to you. So, Well, they know, I mean, obviously, they're not going to invite someone that's going to make them sound bad. Right. So, <laughs> you know, that, obviously, you know, if you can help make their, you know, their instruments sound better than... Yeah, for sure. Put you on there and on the mic and help you sing with them. So, yes. well, that's cool. I, I heard, you know, I, I think I saw that, that you were working with Barrett, so I wasn't sure the, the extent of it. So what a great uh, way to yeah. help you in your, your business as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. So, it's a I'm wonderful sure. opportunity. Did he give you any good <laughs> tips that from, you know, all the experience he's had? Um, well, yeah, he, you know, listen to yourself, you know, listen to those around you. It is a collective uh, experience, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're not in tune with everything going on, you're, it's not going to be successful. Yeah. You know, so. Eagles never get, you know, mm -mm, just no. get in the way. And, yeah. Check them at the door. Check them at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hang them up with your coat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no room for that in here. Mm -mm. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, you've got, um, uh, wanted to ask you also about the uh, open mic that you do. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing that? If yes, that's where I, I was at last night. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yes, every Tuesday. So all you jammers out there that want to get up and sing and, and or play or instrument or what have you, I've been hosting for the last three and a half years oh, wow. uh, at Pub Froggy in Roseville. Okay. They're very successful doing that. Uh, the Stable Dudes is the band behind me there. I love that name, Stable, the stable Dudes. Dudes. The yeah. Stable Dudes. <laughs> oh, yeah, they belong in the Stable Dudes. Why don't you give unruly. a shout-out? Who's in, who, oh. <laughs> when I love them. <laughs> who's in the, who are the Stable Dudes? <laughs> Our Stable Dudes are David Watson on drums. We have uh, John Abraham on bass. And we currently have Joe Stanley on guitar, formerly Jimmy Alter. And uh, yeah, we've been going for about three and a half years, and it's been one of the one of the one of the, I would say, of course, it's mine, so I'm a bias. One of the best jams, I'd say. But we have a lot of people. Um, people come in from out of town and hear about it, and they'll come up, and you know, singer songwriters, they'll come up and do some. Then we'll have our our all stars come up, you know, from around okay. the city and that around the metro area. So it's always a wonderful experience, and something great happens every Tuesday. Well, and you you guys do a set, yeah, yeah we right? Do the you first do the set, set and okay. then we open the floor to the other jammers, and then you know, we'll if they want me to sing or and that's what us, I, I wasn't. It's quite all interactive. Sure. Yes, it's all. If interactive. one of your members, one mm -hmm. of the Stable, stable dudes, dudes. <laughs> what you know gets uh will they get up and help oh yeah some? okay yeah. that's what i wasn't mm -hmm. quite sure i was like well, oh yeah do they back up who someone that comes up there okay. absolutely that is absolutely. cool <laughs> so it's a what it's a really great experience and we have such a great time we call it tasha tuesday you know we just <laughs> nickname it all kinds of stuff as a, oh, instead of taco tuesday you <laughs> have tasha, tasha tuesday, tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it 
All right, so they, and that's been going on a while. So obviously, yes. it's been doing well. Very so successful. Good, so good, very good, grateful. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's always nice when you have a regular gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, you've got definitely a lot on your plate, lady. Thank you. Sheesh. So we got this new CD coming out. Mm -hmm. um, and give your website so people can find it. It is TashaOwens.com, T-O-S-H-A-O-W-E-N-S.com. And I will be updating it this week. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> And she's looking for an intern that might help her with all these things. We'll so. work for peanuts. We're good. Yes. <laughs> the experience will be great. <laughs> Get on her un, uh, unupdated site and hit the contact section and let her know. Absolutely. To help her out. So, okay. So that and um, will you have something? Well, this this CD could be ready to be in, um, nominated for next year's Detroit Music Awards. I too. am pushing for that. Yes. Okay. Good. I am pushing for that. Because you have three of those, correct? Uh, oh, oh, I have five. Five. Total. I'm so, oh, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the, five. Well, good. Well, I know I've handed you many yes. during the pre show that I always MC. So I know I've said your name numerous times. So mm -hmm. I didn't realize five. Okay, well, good for you. Thank you. And what are some of the uh, categories that you've gotten those um, Well, this last one, it was um, I, I won as a part of a band, the Bobby Murray band, the Etta James oh, yes, tribute. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I do that with Bobby Murray, her guitar player, for the last 26 years. And um, that's a wonderful experience as well. So we got the award for a best tribute band. Okay, I remember. And this. then um, before that, it was outstanding blues vocalist. I, I think I got outstanding urban vocalist twice, and then acoustic vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a couple of those I got twice, and then I also have a Detroit Black Music Award Entertainer of the Year for 2014. Oh, so, okay, yeah, cool. Very very nice. I have my nice little mantle. <laughs> look, look, my spot for the Grammy clean off. <laughs> <laughs> which hopefully someday Barbara Streisand will present it to you. That would be the best ever, ever, ever. You can, you can die and go to heaven at that point, right? You, right? That would be the pinnacle. I also want to thank my daughter, Ariana Sollers, for uh, being in one of my videos and on my oh. record as well. She's a beautiful one, my best friend. <laughs> she sing too, or does she... she can sing? She's not a singer, but she sings. You okay. Know? So I, I say, well, let's do this, be on mom's project. So. <laughs> that's cool absolutely that's cool you've got a video with your daughter in mm -hmm. it the one cold uh cold in detroit okay has her in it. yes oh that's sweet <laughs> i bet she enjoyed doing that with yes you. she did i'm in a video yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good for her but not just other than that not musically yeah uh, no she's uh she's in her last year uh, she'll be graduating uh from home in may so she'll be uh, going to respiratory therapy oh so she's taking good her feel. clinicals and all that, right so. All right. Sometimes the musicians' kids see what their parents have gone through, especially they do it on their own, and like, okay, I'm going a different route. Because, <laughs> <Right. laughs> again, it's the business, you know, so much to do with that yeah. business. So, <laughs> Any final words you'd love to say um, to our listeners out there today? Well, um, again, I, you know, I've been in the business 30 years. It's still just as mm. wonderful as it has been since I started, even getting better. So anyone out there striving to do this, um, keep your passion alive, keep yourself honest, and uh, you, you'll go far, you'll do really great things, and believe in yourself and believe in the people around you, and, you, and you'll attract those people as well. So I'd, I'd yeah. like to say that. Well said. That That is and well said. And spread love and peace. We need it right now. Right now we yes, need it. Yes, spread it. Good. And, uh, well, congratulations on everything happening. And, Thank you. Know, you. And, um, Thank you so much for voice. having me. No, oh, my pleasure. We love we love doing it. And, again, this is um, this is a weekly show. It's called Behind the Mic. And I get to sit here one-on-one -on -one with a local musician and just talk about the business and, you know, what they're doing and Hopefully spread some good information and some and good tunes, obviously, and um, just have fun. I love it. We're just conversation. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, and congratulations so, on the show. Thank yes, you. thank yes. you. So, uh, yeah, so if you are interested in, in being in that seat, all you have to do is contact me. You can find me all over the web, you know, just Google my name, <laughs> Pam Rossi, and um, you'll find me and let me know if you'd like to be on this and, and be in that seat. Because it wasn't so bad, right? No, no. I was nervous <laughs> going, oh, my God. But no, it's it's really awesome. It's nice to sit down and, and yeah. have a chat like this. Yeah. Very informal and, and fun. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And thank you again. You sounded wonderful. And, and let us, you know, we'll know when that new CD comes out and, uh, and everything happening. And it's all good. And go check out the video for Detroit Strong. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it. And, um, and whoever's listening out there that has a connection, this needs to be a Detroit anthem. So thank you. Sounding good. <laughs> well, thank you for listening. I'm not sure what camera I'm looking at here. Like, <laughs> but uh, thank you to everybody out there listening uh, for another version of Behind the Mic. I'm Pam Rossi. Have a great week. Good night. Afternoon. <laughs>